Hi everyone, Tiffany here with a cosplay tutorial over how to make and design a custom fabric bodysuit. And the bodysuit is for my World of Warcraft cosplay, and here you can see the reference images that I used. And this tutorial is specifically for getting your custom fabric printed on the Spoonflower website, Sports Lycra Fabric, which is a four-way stretch material made of 88% polyester and 12% lycra. I first sewed together a basic bodysuit using the same sport lycra material from scraps that I had laying around, and then drew on my pattern with red and black sharpies. I highly recommend using the same material that you're going to get your fabric custom printed on, so that way you know exactly how it's going to stretch. Once I was satisfied with how the pattern was, I then used a seam ripper and took apart all of the bodysuit. And then I placed a ruler on each of the pieces for the front, the back, and the sleeves and took an overhead picture. The ruler is very important to have in your pictures so that way you can make sure each piece is scaled correctly. And also try to make sure to take your picture directly overhead and not at an angle to mess up your scaling. Next, I imported each of my pictures into Adobe Illustrator and then clicked on the image and turned down the opacity of it and with the help of the line segment tool and the arc tool, I then made my pattern. I repeated this process for the front, the back, and the sleeves. And then with the help of the ruler, I drew a 25 inch long line onto each of the pieces and then scaled it to the appropriate measurement. And here are all of the pieces once they are done being scaled. Don't forget to save. I next opened up the Adobe Illustrator file into Adobe Photoshop. This file should be the exact measurements of your previous file, and you should not have to do any scaling into Adobe Photoshop. And here's what the file looks like when it's opened. I would highly recommend as your first step to add a new layer of a white pink bucket backdrop and then lock it. If you're unfamiliar with creating layers in Adobe Photoshop, get used to it because you're gonna be using it a lot. Now with the layer of all your base Adobe Illustrator lines, you're gonna use the magic wand tool and select each of the pieces that you want to be the gray color. And then you're gonna create a new layer and then use the eyedropper tool to select a base gray color from your reference image. And then on the new layer, you're going to use the paint bucket tool and fill in each of those selected pieces with the gray color. I then repeated the same process for each of the base colors. Remember to create a new layer for each color as well as to rename it so that way it's easier for you to know which layer is which. And here is what all of the base colors look like when you have them all shown. Now back to the gray layer. First step, put a guideline in the very center vertically of your design. And then using the rectangular marquee tool, select just half of the image and then copy and paste it onto a new layer. Don't worry about the other side, we'll end up mirroring it once we are done with everything. I then used the eyedropper tool and selected a darker gray color on my reference image and then clicked the brush tool, which I used a soft round and a hard round brush going back and forth depending on the area I was working on as well as changing the opacity and the flow to a very low number, so that way they would kind of blend when you changed colors more. Some colors would shine through more, some would be a little more dull, back and forth. I then repeated this process for each of the different colors, making a new layer for each one. Also, it is okay to paint outside the lines. This will make it look a lot more natural and you won't have as harsh of a line for your pattern when it comes together. And here's what all the different layers look like when they are done and you had them all visible. Now to talk about how to make it nice and crisp. Now go back to the original gray color layer and select each piece using the magic wand tool. And then hide that layer and go to your painted layer. Your outline that you had previously selected should still be shown on this new layer. And then copy and paste onto a new layer. And again, repeat this for all of the colors. And here's what all of the layers look like once they are done and visible. Next, select all of those pieces, copy it and paste it onto a new layer, and then flatten it. After that, copy the now flattened image and paste it, followed by flipping it horizontal. And then just align the two pieces together and merge those two layers into one. I then duplicated this layer and put it underneath the main layer and filled in every single piece black just in case there was any missed pieces so there was still a color of black behind it and not white. 
and once again merge that new layer with the final one. And there is your final layer. Also, don't forget to save! Now we're going to make a new Adobe Photoshop file. We're going to make it the same dimension as Spoonflower's one yard sport lycra fabric, which is 56 inches by 36 inches and 150 resolution. If you are using a different type of fabric from Spoonflower, you will need to make your document to those specific measurements for that fabric. Each fabric is a different size, but relatively they're close. You will then need to separate each of the pieces that you designed into the front, the sleeves, and the back. And you will have to put them on two separate files. If you are taller than 5 foot 3, you most likely will have to separate your bodysuit into pants and a shirt that you will have to sew together. If your image does not fit in the new file, it will not be printed. And once you are satisfied with how your pieces of fabric are positioned, Save each piece individually as either a TIFF file, JPEG, PNG, or GIF. Congratulations! We're now done with Photoshop! Now, go to Spoonflower.com and click the Design in Cell button, followed by Upload your design. You will then be brought to a new window, which then you will need to choose your file, put it in, it'll take a few minutes to load, and then afterwards you'll need to do the Confirm Copyright and then upload the final piece. It will then open up a new page, and you will most likely only see a portion of your designed project. You will then need to change the fabric type, which is Sport Lycra, and then change the size and amount to yards. After this, it should show your final piece. If this all looks correct, then click Add to Cart, Pay, and then you're done. Spoonflower is pretty fast about turning over and shipping their products out to you. Normally it takes about two to three weeks, but unfortunately with COVID happening right now, it's taking a little over two months. So just plan accordingly. And here is what my two pieces of fabric looked like once they came in the mail. I highly recommend, as well as Spoonflower highly recommends, washing your material once you get it. It will have a very strong odor just because of the printing process. And once it's washed and dried, cut out each of your pieces. And here is all of my pieces laid out once they are cut. Next, pin each of your pieces of fabric together, and make sure to align each of your fabric pieces together when pinning. I start off by using a straight stitch first, uh, making sure the whole thing is sewn together. That way, when I try it on, if I have to adjust anything, I only have to use the seam ripper once rather than on complicated reinforced stitching. Please note that this is not strong enough of a stitch to hold your pieces together, especially for a four-way stretch fabric. You will need to reinforce with more stitching as well as a zigzag stitch that we will do later. I then pinned my zipper into place, and with the help of a zipper foot, sewed my zipper to the bodysuit. And once the zipper was in place and everything fit perfectly, I then reinforced all of my stitching with another straight stitch as well as a zigzag stitch. The zigzag stitch is the best stitching to use for stretch fabric because it will go and stretch with your material but still hold in place. And that long process is how I made my custom fabric bodysuit for my World of Warcraft cosplay.